Welcome to our episode on credit card usage. It's an awesome topic to talk about. Um, oftentimes people are led the wrong ways about it. Now I'm going to debunk a couple myths. I'm going to show you how to use it correctly. Um, but first off, my name is Matt. I'm the owner of Credit Fix Me Now. We're a five-star rated credit repair company out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, we are excited to bring this to you. Um, to Again, most of what I do is credit education and this is part of it. So. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done right and i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done wrong and i'm going to show you why the myth of max out your credit card and then pay it off is one of the worst things you can do so follow along as i do this but before we get started go ahead and click subscribe and turn the notifications on so you get alerted first when we upload something uh, thanks again and follow along all right before we get started i wanted to refresh your memory on the five factors that make up your credit score um, this is the one that we're going to focus on today, which is amount owed. Um, this one I think here is just the easiest one to get out of line um, really quickly. You know, payment history, can you always make a $35 minimum payment if you max out your card? Okay, I think that's pretty easy. You know, can it take you a while to get out of that card, that kind of debt? Uh, so can you make that for a while? I, you know, I think the credit companies would encourage you to do that. So this is kind of where we're going to camp out today. I'm going to show you again what it looks like when you do it right. But just don't forget this as we move forward that it, this is the bigger part of what we focus on as a company. Um, and this is what I preach on and educate on all the time. And, you know, this episode is really just a reflection of that. So uh, stay with me and uh, we'll have some fun together. All right. What you're looking at here is one of the tools that we have as a company that really helps us establish ourselves as the you know professionals. This is a really cool tool. It's backed by a company called Smart Credit. This is our... Um, uh, credit monitoring service that's included in your subscription fees. Uh, absolutely great company. If you like what you see here and you're a credit repair company and you're not with them and you like more information, in the description below, I'm going to put the email address to Steve Rieger. He is the Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Um, I know as a business owner, I like to deal with people who can make decisions and do things. And uh, he's really up as high as you can go. So that contact him, tell him you saw my video and you just like more information. Um, I'm gonna release a whole nother here video shortly highlighting why I made the choice to move my company over with them and the impact it had. Um, that's not the time or place here, but if you happen to see what you see or like what you see, you know, you can contact him. If you're a customer of another credit repair monitoring company or whatever, and you want to come on board with this tool because of this, um, then just contact me. You can just do credit monitoring with me. You don't really have to go through credit repair. But again, that's not really the purpose of the video. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I like this tool because what it does is it gives you an opportunity to kind of see where you are. And what it does is it analyzes all your open debt. And it will tell you who to pay, when to pay, by what date, and then how much credit you'll receive. So you'll, you'll see as I kind of slide this bar what exactly happens. But what this does is it turns the conversation um, with the customer to what can I do for them, you know, the credit repair company do for them, but it turns it more into what can we accomplish together. And I think that's really important to understand that this is a partnership above all else. Yeah, the customer is going to pay me to enforce the laws that they have under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, but that's not it. And I'm going to show you exactly what that means. I've gotten deletions for this other customer and you're going to see that the credit score should went down because they didn't do their part. And this is the customer's part. I cannot pay your debts for you. You know, we cannot get a consolidation loan for you until we get things in line. And that's going to require you to uphold your end of the bargain. But this tool is one of the tools that helped us move forward as a company because, again, it changed the dynamic of the conversation from what can you do for me to what can we accomplish together. And, you know, as you know, team stands for together, everyone achieves more. So the credit education and the credit repair, really that conversation of marrying them together starts here. And this is why we did this. So follow what I mean. You're really going to enjoy this because this is pretty cool information. All right, look at this. I mean, how freaking useful is this information? You're telling me that I can have a conversation with a customer where if they address their open debts for $446, that they'll gain 141 points. I mean, this is, the, if I got no deletions and this happened and the customer entered my program to 530 and left at a 674, I mean, how great would that be? You know, and then take a look at this. If, if the national average for credit repair 
is uh, you know 60 points, you're talking about a 730, and all that this person had to do is $450. I mean, this is great, but you know, then this 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 falls into that category of misuse of credit cards. This person was led to believe that they could max out their credit cards and then pay them off each month, and that would be the best thing for them. And then, and as you can see, that's clearly a lie. It's not true. That is inaccurate information that they received that they didn't know. So the first thing we did, obviously, because it's such a low balance, is we were, you know, paid the credit cards right off. And now we're more educated on how to use them properly. So now we fall back to that 80% that we focus on in our company, which is usage, payment history, and consistency. Can you do it over, you know, the consistent months? When you answer yes to all those things, you're starting to maximize your score potential. You throw in some deletions and corrections and then proof, you know, that the score goes through the roof. And, you know, that's why we're five-star rated because we take advantage of all the tools. We know all the laws and we do all the right things. So, you know, again, this is a very good tool to have. And, you know, if you want to know more about it, again, in the description, contact me or Steve, you know, whatever we can do. But, you know, if you don't have this available to you, could you could you imagine not knowing this? Could you imagine being on the other side of that phone and being like, oh, my God, if I had only known it was $450, was killing my score by 150 points, you know, how upset you'd be once you found out later. So this is a great tool for us, and I really recommend it for everybody involved. So, so this is what it looks like on your credit report, and I'm going to guide you as to what it should look like. You know, here's your, your credit limit. It's, it's $300, but if you take a look at the balance, it's 268 bucks. You know, no matter what kind of the limit is, I always try to keep my customers in that 10% range. I do that because if they go over a little bit, we don't want it to hurt their score, which is, you know, ideally is we're working, you know, toward their financial freedom. We don't want to do anything that would hinder that. But ideally, you know, this really isn't a credit card. This is just kind of a credit builder credit card uh, scenario. If you just put $10 on it, $20 on it, you know, a Netflix subscription, a Hulu Plus, a Disney Plus, you know, whatever that is, your gym membership, then if it auto paid out of your account, all of a sudden you're going to see your credit score rise because again, you know, your answer to those three questions. Can you use it properly? Can you pay it on time? And can you do it consistently? And when those answers are yes, again, you marry that with the, you know, deletions and corrections. Now you start to maximize the score potential. And next thing you know, you know, your customers are moving their life forward because of this little bit of education that you're receiving here today, you know, for free. This is what it looks like when it's done correctly. And I'm gonna show you the next slide because this customer is with me, you know, a little longer than this. I wanna show you where we started, but it's important in this slide to show you that we didn't get a thousand deletions. You know, we didn't get, you know, these magical deletions that all of a sudden, you know, the credit score goes up and you're gonna see the, the, the jump here in a minute. You know, we got nine deletions and we got three. This is good work. I don't wanna minimize the work that we did. But there's no work that we're going to do here that's going to see this kind of rise, you know, when I when I show you the next slide. But this happens when you have a consultation with a customer, you show them the score master tool. And, and what happens is, is you develop a plan. And what it did is it took a couple months for this plan to go in effect. You know, I think he got a, a year end bonus, I think is what he did, or he's working towards it. And he got it. And he said, you know what, instead of you know, buying into the commercialism of the holidays, I'm going to, I'm going to get my credit in line. I'm going to pay these debts that I owe because what I didn't know was is that how much of my credit was being held hostage by my debt. So here you got a guy that's done the right things. You know, you, you marry that with the corrections and deletions that we've gotten and he's going to benefit and you're, you're going to see this. This is really cool. I'm really happy for him. This is a, a great person. This guy's trying to get his daughter to go to college and now he's going to be able to get a much better interest rate, you know, to, to supply her with education so she can move her life forward. So, and, and I think most importantly, he's setting a really good example uh, for his wife and his kids and his family saying, you know what? Yeah, we, we, we had some debts and while that's not great, but this is a decision that we made to address it. And this is how we're going to benefit. And this is a lesson we learned. And, you know, we're going to make sure we keep an eye on this, you know, moving forward because now we're more educated. And again, education, you know, about credit and credit repair, they have to work together. You can't have one without the other, um, you know, and they're equally as important. So check this out. Watch this. So here it is. You know, I, I really couldn't be more proud, you know, to show you this. This is the coolest thing in the world. Look at this, man. Yeah, 174 points. This right here is a combination of 
understanding the debts, uh, the usage, the you know credit cards, marrying that with uh, credit repair, and look, I mean, 174 points. There's absolutely nothing to scoff at. Remember, national average credit repair is 60 points. We're triple that. We're doing all the right things, and this customer is going to benefit. And it, it, this is life changing. This is the impact that you, you know, you want to have on somebody's life when you're a business owner like me. This is cool. This is why I started this company. This is life changing, not only for him, but the next generations to come. Now, he will take this education and put it into her daughter. Her daughter one day will look at her kids and go, no, you know what? My dad made that same mistake. And, you know, what would the interest rate have been here for her? If, if you were going to get a student loan and now what's the interest rate now? I mean, you're vastly different half, you know, better than half. I don't know, but you know what? I tell you what, it's going to be a lot more beneficial for him and his family. And this is a real cool to be a part of, you know, at a high here, we had a high of 154 points in difference. That's nothing to scoff at. And, and even here, you know, 84, 83 points. This is great. This is great, great work. And, and he's going to benefit from it. So this is, again, a visual representation of following the parameters of the program, working together, doing the right things. And this, you know, I can absolutely justify charging what I charge and asking people to pay what I pay because look at the results. This is why we're five star rated. This is why we're doing the things that we're doing. This is why my phone rings all day. This is why you can't tell it's nighttime. I have to record these at night when we close the office because during the day, I just, I can't get this stuff done because we are on the phones, doing the update calls, on the phones, doing the sales calls. These are the things that are being done because, you know, we're getting results like this. So this is really cool, but watch what happens in the next slide. Cause you know, I'm always going to show you both ends of the spectrum. So this is an unfortunate situation. So stick with me. You'll, you'll see this. So here it is. This is, you know, one of those situations where we put a plan in place and the plan fell apart. You know, we get, you know, 10 deletions and, and one item repaired, but the credit ends up being lower than than you know than when we started, and this is just it's just really unfortunate because we did good work and we want to see everybody succeed and we root for everybody and we're praying for everybody. You know, we do all the right things, but if you're not going to adhere to the program parameters, then there's really no reason that you're in the program. And you can see that this person you know quit on me after you know five six months, but then they they call me like, hey, this this program isn't working, and it's like, well. Yeah, I love you, but it is working because because here we are. I got the deletions. You know, it's it, you know it's not working. Your your commitment to what we talked about when you enrolled. You had a plan. We focus on the cards. We change our lifestyle. We quit smoking. We we stop eating out. We start cooking in more. You know, we start doing a lot of these things, and we take a look at our life and say, okay, well, we want something different. You know what that's going to require? You doing something different. If you want something you've never had, you're going to have to do something you've never done. If not, you're always going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And that's the reality of the situation. You know, you don't like to hear it too bad. I'm really sorry to hear that, but you're not going to call me, you know, six months later and go, oh, you know, credit fair just doesn't work. No, guess what? You don't work. I don't know any way to say this. Numbers don't lie. If you watched any of my other videos, you know, I love math. Two and two is always four. And here's your reality of your situation. You are unwilling to change your habits. You're unwilling to change your behavior. And therefore, you will always be in the same position that you're in. So look, here's the funny part is that we actually started. I will give this person credit. They had a plan. The plan started for about 30, 60 days. And I get it. They, they had a, a major life event. I get it. But it just seemed like month after month after month after month. We never picked ourselves back up. We just laid in that hole that we dug ourselves in. And we're like, okay, well, you know, credit repair is just not for me. So what? watch this. So here it is. Look at this. I mean, we start out in the mid fives and we see some, you know, this person is motivated for a while to attack the debt. But you can see if you don't uphold your little bargain, there's no amount of deletions that I can get that's going to put your credit in a position for you to move your life forward. You'd have to adhere to the program. So this is why I put these videos together because it is credit education and you have to be able to make a decision when you look at information and say, do I want to do this the way that this person did because it obviously worked or do I want to do this? Because which kind of person do I want to be? You know, if you always do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. And this is a prime example of that. You cannot move your life forward if you don't uphold your end of the bargain. It's, it's black and white to me. It's very simple, right? 
I want to move my life forward. This is what I got to do. Okay, let's do it. And, you know, unfortunately, some people don't subscribe to that idea. They just think that, you know, I'm going to enroll in credit repair and it's all going to be good in six, seven months. And it, it just, it, it obviously just doesn't work that way. So, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, hopefully we'll see them back when they're ready to commit to the program. It's really all that I can do. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video on usage. Um, I hope you're leaving this with a plan for the cards you have. I hope you're leaving this uh, plan re-motivated to, uh, you know, release some of the credit score that's being held hostage by your debt. You know, by really just having a plan, I really hope you leave this putting a plan together and uh, helping me help you. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to just bring you some education. Just know that we love you and we're praying for you. Thanks so much.